We'll now go to Andrew Rosendale. Madam Deputy Speaker, may I join members on all sides of the House today to give thanks for the life and service of His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip was a man who dedicated his entire life to duty. Duty to his wife, Her Majesty the Queen, duty to his country, and duty to all nations of the Commonwealth. In this, the longest reign of any monarch in British history and across these islands, the Duke of Edinburgh was always there by the Queen's side, defending and upholding the crown, whilst at the same time showing his devotion to the people of this country, to his work for so many wonderful causes, charities, the armed forces, sports, the arts, and of course, to the protection of our natural environment, environment and of wildlife in particular. He was a good man, a man of character, integrity, courage and patriotism. And so on behalf of my constituents of Romford, I would like to offer my heartfelt sympathies to Her Majesty the Queen at this huge loss to herself and the entire royal family. A service of thanksgiving for the life of His Royal Highness will be held at the Church of St Edward the Confessor in Romford Market later this week. And it is a church that Prince Philip and the Queen visited way back on the 3rd of March 2003, following on from Her Majesty's Golden Jubilee tour of the United Kingdom. I remember the day well. Upon their arrival in Romford Market, Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh were greeted with rapturous applause from the people of my town. And I had the pleasure of spending time with the Queen and His Royal Highness as the then new Member of Parliament for Romford, escorting them around our historic market town, meeting storeholders and local people, followed by community representatives and a lunch in the church hall, the Wickham Hall. Prince Philip had time for everyone. He showed enormous interest in all things that were important to others and with a great sense of humour at all times. And also, as Chairman of the British Irish Parliamentary Assembly, may I pay tribute to His Royal Highness for the part he played in the Queen's state visit to Ireland in May of 2011, which he did so much to help bring our two nations together, strengthening that bond of friendship between all peoples across these blessed islands of ours. May I also pay tribute to His Royal Highness for his lifelong support for the 21 British Overseas Territories and Crown Dependencies, the Duke having visited so many of them over his lifetime. And I especially recall that wonderful day in July of 2002 at Tinwald Hill on the Isle of Man, where the Queen and Prince Philip came for the magnificent annual ceremony celebrating the Manx tradition of Tinwald Day, and I was proud to be there myself. The Duke of Edinburgh was indeed a man who made the most of his long life, but he did so in the service of his family, his country and the Crown. We owe him so much. Thank you, Prince Philip. God save the Queen. <laughs>